Combine this time of year with dry conditions, low humidity and wind, you've got the recipe for wildfires. New Jersey is in the midst of a lingering dry spell and it's got fire officials on high alert. Today we're on patrol due to the high uh, red flag warnings and the way that my section is broken into, um, we kind of coordinate the trucks into a northern, a central and a southern area and we'll patrol those different areas. On Tuesday, firefighters struggled to contain a massive brush fire that burned hundreds of acres in Hudson County, caught here by a motorist on the New Jersey Turnpike. Spring is our peak fire season due to the, the weather patterns and the and the fact that, that the forest is, isn't greened up yet. It's still, it's still dormant, it's still trying to, the leaves are trying to come out. So the sun's able to beat directly on the forest floor. So when we have these higher winds, it is rather tough. We need to be able to get out in front of the head fire to be able to either use a backing fire or use the, the aviation units that we have. For New Jersey forest fire wardens like Ashley House, patrol areas include sections of the 100 million acres of Pinelands. The environmentally sensitive tract reaches seven counties, hundreds of communities, and is highly flammable. A lot of the vegetation does burn very well here. Uh, the, the issue is, is we also have a high population. Roughly 500,000 people live or work near the Pine Barrens, making its fire hazard the subject of a recent article by Rolling Stone magazine. The single most destructive fire in U.S. history could occur not in the American West, but in the Northeast. New Jersey Forest Fire Service has taken up a number of recommendations since the last major Pine Barrens fire in 1963, which did kill seven people and burn 190,000 acres. We have a lot more cooperators now and a lot more uh, able to, to get a lot more help. The department also completes prescribed burning done from January through March. This year they burned almost 18,000 acres. Another recommendation they've met? adding more aircraft. On conditions like today, these helicopters will be prepped for flight hours in advance should they be needed. They have the capacity to hold up to 325 gallons of water in these buckets. And if water sources are close enough, they can drop up to 6,000 gallons of water an hour. We're doing what we, what we can to prevent a fire disaster. Even with the department's preparedness, they want citizens to remember fires are always a potential near forests like the pines, and you really can prevent them. In Chatsworth, I'm Brianna Venozzi, NJTV News.